We welcome you to the pavilion at Ole Miss for this in-state showdown. Ole Miss 3-0 for the first time since 2016, taking on the Mississippi Valley State Devilettes here on the SEC Network. And the team's loss to Murray State. Taylor Smith early, three from the wing. That's been missing from her game so far this season. Scott on the baseline, tips it to herself. That is Austin getting another rebound. That's the vision right there. Nice pass down to Denetta Johnson, 7-0 Ole Miss. There's another turnover for the Rebels. This is Shakira Austin, Euro steps around Ronnie Williams. Turnaround shot in the lane, goes for Diamond Kitchens. Nesbitt, elbow extended, good. Nesbitt. Ole Miss leads Mississippi Valley State 18-6. Tough drive, and a floater goes from Mahoney. 9-0 over the last 99 seconds. Blocking foul called on the Devilettes. This assists in that contest. Johnson, hesitation dribble, gives it off to Scott. Johnson, money from the elbow extended. No fear for McGee. Absolutely, that's such a special opportunity for the incoming freshman just to get the experience to be here on campus. Nice pump fake there from Rags. Goes back towards the free throw line on the floor to start the second half. This is Johnson going left side. Remember, she is ambidextrous. She drove left, went back to the right hand, laid it up and in. Reed's gonna line up a three from the wing, has two from downtown here this afternoon. Mimi Reed with six. Valley's got 14 seconds to shoot. Mahoney goes left side, runner in the lane, falls. 12 point Ole Miss lead, under six to play in the third quarter. Johnson goes all the way in with the left side drive, high off the window and in. Here she is running the floor in transition. Goes from the elbow all the way to the blocks in two steps, <laughs> dunking the ball. Yes. Here comes the Rebels in transition again. It's Johnson and Scott. No look pass. Finds Scott. She's got a chance to complete the three point play at the line. 30 point lead now for Ole Miss out of nowhere. Some it felt like it was going to be a much closer game at the break at halftime as Scott is just putting the team on her back right now. 15 points for the freshman. Hit four of their last five field goals. Austin drives baseline, works herself around the defender, and then the reverse layup goes up and in. Ole Miss has forced 24 more turnovers in three of four games this season, and Nesbitt goes all the way in, except for the last shot. She drops it off for Madison Scott. Mahoney. Corner three from Taya Douglas, another one from downtown for the sharpshooter. Rebels are going to dribble this clock out. 86-46, our final score as the Rebels improved to 4-0 on the season. We hope you enjoyed today's game, and we'll catch you next time here on the SEC Network.